Seven days, an empty apartment, used furniture only. That's the challenge. Also, I haven't seen what the space looks like. This isn't a makeover video. The goal is to create a livable and furnished living room, dining room, and a working kitchen filled with everyday items. In this episode, I'll document the first six days filled with ups and downs trying to find the items on my list. All of our friends and family know that we like to buy our things used whenever possible first. I'm personally going to try to source everything used. For one of our loved ones who are moving into a new apartment, I thought it would be really fun to share with you the process of how I go about getting things used. I've put together a list of all the items that I'll be looking for. I'm excited to film the seven days with you and see what I'm able to find over the course of this time and where we end up. I did find a toaster for $25 and then I'm going to go to the thrift stores in that area. Good morning, everyone. Today is day two. I'll share the things I found on day one. I ended up finding an eight inch cuisine art skillet. I looked up this same exact little skillet new. I got this at the Goodwill for $4.99 at this other thrift store that I like going to. I feel like in general, they have a lot more dinnerware. I ended up opting for this four mug set. I ended up getting these for a dollar each and I'm still gonna keep an eye out for other mug sets. If I see something that I like, but I know it's not the quantity that I want, I check online to see what other resellers are selling them for. If they decide they want to keep these as their forever piece that they could expand them. I ended up finding these in a separate section that just said all red tags are 75% off. There were two other plates on top of this. So when I looked at the stack, I thought that they may have been mixed and matched. But after I took those top two off, I saw that the rest of these were all from the same brand. So these are all threshold. These cost $5 each at Target. So this set would have been $30. These were listed $2 and 75% off. The set of six came out to three dollars. Let's recap where we are in the checklist. Yesterday I ended up finding six dinner plates, four mugs, one small skillet, one toaster. I have a long way to go. Suki and I are heading out to the thrift store. I'm hoping to really finish up the kitchen items. Then I'm going to use the last few days to focus on more of the bigger living room and dining room pieces. Overall, we didn't have a lot of luck today. We only got three things from the list and they're all kind of little things. We did not do great today, but I got some other things for myself that or things that I've been looking for. I've been looking for replacement William Sonoma dishes from the line that I have for many years. And at the thrift store, I, I ended up finding some replacements, but only for the soup bowls. And I only took two so that now I have a service for 13. I'm debating even getting those for this as well. They're the shallow soup bowls. So let me know what you think. Do you think it's worth having these and the shallow bowls? The other ones I think are great for pasta too. I'll see you all in the morning after we clean things up. Good morning, everyone. Today is day three. Let's get into the fun part of what I was able to find yesterday, which wasn't much. It was very disappointing. For $3, we got this nice set of stainless steel measuring cups. I grabbed six of these at $2 each. I was excited about this find. Green is currently 75% off. The set of three was listed for 20 and discounted 75%. So it was $5 for the set of three serving plates. They are from Crate and Barrel. You've probably noticed that I've been going for an all white dinnerware set that's been on purpose, trying to get a consistent look. Yesterday wasn't successful in terms of finding a lot of these kitchen items. I probably spent too much time looking at kitchen things at the thrift stores, but lesson learned. I still don't have access to the apartment to get measurements, so that's been making it tough for me to get some furniture since I don't want to pay for delivery twice to have things sent here and then from here to the apartment. That's going to come down to the wire. I know that I'm going to want a round table so that walkways aren't as crowded. I've been looking online for some tables and I've found a couple of options. I've been looking for dining chairs too, so those are things that if I see them and if I can fit them in my car, I will take. I'm also looking for things like lamps and rugs. Even though I don't know the size, if I see a good deal, I'm going to grab it. I'm going to go to three estate sales today. It's almost 8.30 a.m. right now, so I'm gonna head out and try and get there as close to nine as possible. Let's go to the estate sale and see what we can find. This 
just got out of the second estate sale and didn't really find anything that I could use for this project. So I'm gonna go home and then we'll look online and try and do some pickups this afternoon instead of going to the thrift store. I just picked up six chairs from Facebook Marketplace. They're solid wood chairs. They do need some TLC, but they were $40 for six of them. Today is day four. I'm super excited to share day three items with you. So I'm feeling a lot better. I was starting to get discouraged with the kitchen things. I really was hoping that I would be able to find a lot of these things at thrift stores. The time scale is what I think has made it hard. Someone I had reached out to earlier, I ended up going back and forth with them. They had listed a whole lot of kitchen items for $50. They had valued that at around $500, but I still negotiated that down to $30. Then they kept messaging me with other things that they had and asking me if I could use them. So for $50, I got everything that I'm about to show you. Craigslist has delivered. Let's start with this. The people were super nice and wrapped things up. You can see here, it's a service for six. Dinner plate, salad plate, a bigger bowl and a smaller bowl, mug, drinking glass. I have met the goal for dinnerware to have at least a service for six. Next mystery box. All of this, plus what I showed you before, included in that $50. And I still have one more bag of non-kitchen items. Ah, I figured it out. It's a butter thing. It's a butter thing. I was wondering what this was. <gasps> There's a whole other box that I forgot about. I forgot all about this bag. So I was looking for some tongs like this that had a locking mechanism, frying pan thing. Oh, this is silicone, so this is nice. This little brush. Do we go with this one for them? For the thrifted, I might like the thrifted one more. Bergner, I don't know if you all know anything about this brand. Again, I don't know anything about cooking. My husband's gonna watch me talk about this stuff and laugh at me. Oh, here are more glasses. Ooh, a large pan. So again, this is all still included in that $50. There's still more. So I think I might mix and match some of the things that I got in this lot with some of the other things that I've gotten from the thrift stores. Also included in that $50, but that I decided to buy for myself were these super cubes. We use these all the time for making our soups. I'm so excited to surprise my husband with these. That was all the stuff that I got from that one sale for, again, $50, can't say it enough. Let's see where that leaves us and what we have and what we still need. For the kitchen, I think we're in great shape. I'm gonna move my focus away from that. I've already started to with the, the dining chairs. I'm going to continue just messaging people if I see things that I think are a good fit that I could pick up today. Suki and I are heading out to pick up some things that I was able to get for free on Nextdoor. And then we're going to go to some thrift stores. Today is day five. I still don't have the measurements. I did end up sourcing and finding an armchair. I was hoping to find a pair of chairs, but I couldn't pass up this chair that I found on Facebook Marketplace. I ended up reaching out about a couple of lamps that I still haven't heard from. I think two out of the three that I reached out to, people hadn't updated the listing and those are sold. So I'm still hoping that this one is still available. I tried to negotiate and they didn't respond. I did end up saying I would pay the full price, but they haven't responded. So I don't know if it's still available because there just are so many options at thrift stores and online marketplaces. I've been really picky about that. Just trying to see everything that's out there so that I can start to see, okay, I think that would look really nice with this armchair and just trying to get a sense of an overall combination that could go well together. The couch that I'll show you, I like. It's a little more traditional. I think that that couch would look really nice with the armchair that I'm going to go pick up. Let's go look at what we found on day four. Everything that I'm showing you in this box, I got free from one person who no longer needed these things and was willing to share them. Let's see what we got. Ooh, these are the utensils. They're really nice. Oh. I think everything's here. A Cuisinart hand mixer in the box. And then we have a little small Cuisinart food processor. They also gave us this William Sonoma pan. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. A Vitamix. We have a Vitamix blender. This is pretty exciting. What? <laughs> wow. 
I'm gonna try to clean these up and see how, how I can get them to look. Let's get ready and head out. Suki and I have picked up the chair. We've been to a couple of thrift stores. I got a couple of things. Tomorrow morning we'll share the things that we found. Today is day six. I've been spending most of my time the last couple of days looking at online marketplaces. Even though I still don't have access to the measurements and probably won't at this point by the end of this video, I am still trying to get pieces that could be cohesive, work together. In the last couple of days, I've been talking to a couple of people for pieces that I do want. Ones that I do want, they're pieces that I know have a better chance at being being a piece that might work that is more versatile and that is better quality so I'm not again trying to go get the first free thing that I see and we could have called it a day let me show you what I got and then we'll continue chatting this table lamp I got at a thrift store for $20 it came with this shade I did end up also finding this shade it actually came with a lamp and I ended up leaving the lamp at the thrift store and I just took the shade so I hope that's okay <laughs> I like that this is a little more white I'm torn I'm not sure you let me know which one we should use in the space I liked this lamp because I thought it was versatile once we get into styling the room that if I think a different color would work better this is something that could easily be painted this is a target armchair this chair was listed for $50. I negotiated it down to $40. It does have defects. One, the zipper is broken. Other issue is this leg splinter. It didn't go all the way down. They said that they put in wood glue and they put a clamp in. It's been just fine. This is such a good find. Before Suki and I head out, there is someone who got back to me about an end table. I was just measuring. In this case, I don't know the space measurements, but I know I have one piece. So now relative to this piece, I'm trying to find an end Table. This end table is supposed to be 23 inches and a half deep. Come up to about here and this wide. So it's almost as wide as the chair. I think that's okay. It's only 20 inches tall. It'll be that. The general rule of thumb for end tables is the same height or a couple of inches shorter than where the piece of furniture ends. That's in line with the rule of thumb. For $10, I am going to give it a try. I didn't want the space to feel overall like it is a high contrast space. After seeing this and seeing this, I'd like to have a very soft palette with a little black accents, not that black and white high contrast all over the place. So a big update is that I finally did get access to the space to be able to get measurements. I'm so excited for you to see the space come together and to see all the other pieces I was able to find. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss next week's video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week.